Hello dear students, in today's class we will study chapter 8, A House is Not a Home, from the book Moments, Supplementary Reader. And in this story we will study about the challenges and problems which occur in the life of a teenager or growing up and uh, it was same with the author when he was teenager then so many problems occurred in his life and we will also know how the author overcome his problem of that is that was teenage so let's start a discussion and study about the story. My first year of high school felt awkward after leaving junior high at the head of my class with all the seniority the upper grade levels could afford me. It felt strange starting over as a freshman. The school was twice as big as my old school and to make matters worse, my closest friends were sent to a different high school. I felt very isolated. Dear students, the first year of the writer in a new high school was quite strange, awkward, appalling as he was isolated there means he felt isolated there why he felt isolated there because all of his close friends got admission in some other high school so writer felt isolated after leaving junior high at the head of my class means the writer was the head of the class in upper junior class that's why he was senior in the class and with that seniority of junior class he could uh, afford he could uh, bear the pressure of being a freshman or fresher in the new school as it was quite difficult because uh, the new school was quite strange for him as he did not know anybody in the new school and when describes about the school building the high school was twice as big as the old school of the writer. So it was the same start as some other people make and uh, there were some problems when he uh, left uh, his uh, previous school and got admission in new high school. So it is very common and it occurs in the life of every student. I missed my old teachers so much that I could I would go back and visit them. The writer missed his old teachers as they were very dear to him and whenever the writer got chance he visited his dear old teachers. They could encourage me to get involved in school activities so that I could meet new people. And all the time when writer visited his old teachers, they encouraged the writer to get involved in the school activities, meet new people and make new friendship with uh, their classmates and with seniors too. 
they told me that in time i would adjust and probably end up loving my new school more than i had my old one they always told the writer that if uh, he would be involved in the school activities then uh, uh, it would be too good for him as new friends will be made and he will start loving his new school and they were quite confirm that the writer would love his new school even more than his previous one they made me promise that when that happened i would still come by and visit them more time to time and whenever they made sorry uh, afterward the old teachers made promise that when the writer would start loving the new school more than previous one even then he will visit the school too often i understood the psychology in what they were saying but i took oh sorry i took some comfort in it nevertheless the writer could understood the motive band these statements given by his old teachers still he felt some comfort some relief from uh, those statements made by the uh, old teachers one sunday afternoon noon not as long after i had started high school i was sitting at home at our dining room table doing homework after joining the new school uh, on one sunday it was the time of afternoon when the writer was sitting at the dining uh, room table and uh, the writer was doing his homework it was a cold and windy fall day and we had a fire going in our fireplace and uh, the writer further tells that the day was very cold cold wind was blowing and that's why there was fire in the fireplace in the house so that uh, the people of the writer's family or members of writer's family could avoid cold as usual my red tabby cat lying on top of my papers furring loudly and occasionally swatting at my pen for entertainment sake and uh, as usual the writer's red tabby cat stripped cat was lying on the papers of the writer and it was also in a playful mo- uh, playful mood and that's why she was occasionally swatting with his paws at the pen of writer for the sake of entertainment she was never far from me i had rescued her when she was a kitten and somehow she knew that i was the one responsible for giving her the good life and uh, the cat of writer was rescued by him when she was very young as a kitten and the cat realized that he was the person who was responsible for giving him for giving her good life my mother kept stoking the fire to keep the house nice and warm suddenly i smelled something strange and then i noticed it smoke pouring in through the seams of the ceiling the smoke began to fill the room so quickly that we could 
barely see okay and after some time sorry before uh, some time when mother kept the fire stocking for keeping the house nice as well as warm the writer smelt that there was some uh, strange smell and uh, after some time he noticed that the smoke was pouring out through the seams of ceiling it means the house was quickly filled with smoke and they could barely see through the smoke groping our way to the front door we ran out into the front yard and uh, when they were unable to see due to the thick smoke they walked just like a blind man blind man groping through groping with the help of his uh, sorry their hands and they ran out into the front yard by the time we made our way outside the whole roof was engulfed in a flames in flames and it was spreading quickly so when the writer and uh, his mother were making their way out uh, in the front yard in that time the flames engulfed the whole roof and the house started burning very quickly and the fire was also spreading quickly i ran to the neighbors to call the fire department while i watched my mother run back into the house the writer ran to the neighbors and uh, requested them to call the fire department while the mother of writer went back into the house as she wanted to take something out from the house my mother then ran out of the house carrying a small metal box full of important documents she dropped the case on the lawn and in a grazed state ran back into the house after some time uh, mother of writer came out from the uh, burning house and she was carrying a small metal box that was full of documents and those documents were very important and she put the metal box in the lawn and uh, in a grazed state she again ran back into the house i knew what she was after my father had died when i was young and i was certain that she was not going to let me let his pictures and letters go up in flames as the writer's father had been died when he was very young as a child and that's why writer knew the value of his mother in his life very well and the writer did not want to lose his mother but there were some pictures of his father and his mother did not want to lose those pictures as they were the last uh signs or we can say memorials of his father they were the only things that she had to remember by him him by and the pictures of his father were the only things and there were some letters also to which she did not want to be worn in the flames as these pictures and letters were the only things 
which reminded her of her husband or my father still i screamed at her no mom mom no still the writer screamed and cried at her mother at his mother please ma'am please mom no don't go inside the room inside the home i was about to run after her when i felt a large hand hold me back it was a fireman when she moved in uh, moved inside the house the writer was also ready to move after her inside the house but when the writer was just ready to go into the house some hand hold him from back and it was none other than a fireman i hadn't even noticed what the street had already filled with the fire trucks i was trying to free myself from his grasp yelling and at that time the writer did not notice that by that time the street was completely full with the fire trucks fire brigades and the writer was still trying to set himself free from the grasp of fireman and was ready to go into the house after her after his mother you don't understand my mother is in there the writer told the fireman that uh, he did not understand his mother was inside the home he hold hold on to me while other fire fighters ran into the house he knew that i wasn't active sorry acting very logically and that is if he were to let go i had run he was right then the fireman did not leave me and hold me tightly and some other fire fighter uh, ran into the house as the man knew very well that the writer was not acting logically and uh, if he left the writer he would run into the house and no doubt he was quite correct quite right if it happened so the writer would be in the house it is all right they will get her he said at that when the writer informed the fire fighters that uh, his mother was inside the house then uh, the fire fighter said it is all right they will get her back they will bring her back safely so dear students in today's class we will study up to this much and uh, in next class we will start from he wrapped a blanket so dear students if you have any doubt you can ask through comment box and uh, watch this video from the beginning till end and at last thank you for watching this video